You know, I never carved a pumpkin in my life. Really? Yep. Oh, wife. well, you're in store for a, a lot wife. of pain and hard work. <laughs> We're here at Tully's Pumpkin Farm to do some picture controls straight out of the camera results for you today and pick some pumpkins at the same time. So it's almost like straight out of Compton, but out of Z6. Yeah, straight out of Z6. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I've made a couple of custom profiles, so although Nikon Z6 actually has all these amazing built-in profiles... Mm -hmm. Are you going to go for dramatic? <laughs> no, I've actually made my own, which I've called... I called it lo-fi. It's very low saturation. Is it going to go well with lo-fi music? Yeah, that's the, that's the idea. It's going to go well with some lo-fi hip-hop, so I'm going to use that for a bit. It's kind of my version of, I would say, a bit of Portra 160. All right, well, you do you as long as we don't get a copyright strike, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I've been cheating, to be honest. I've just downloaded a bunch of film profiles from the internet oh. and put it on my camera. Probably you'll ask, how do you do this? Well, we're going to have another video to explain you how. But what do I have in here? So I have, let's go in here, I've got Coda Gold 100, <gasps> Porta NC, nice. the Porta in other version. Let's see what else I have here. Kodak e, E100, which is a positive film. And then I've got some Provia 100F, Istia, Velvia, and also Kodak T-Max. Amazing. All right, let's see what results we get. Then no editing today. Exactly, but I'm, I bet you I'm going to win this challenge. Okay, 51.8 right on Z6. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait for the sun and I'm gonna take a picture of that Dorothy's house with the tree over there. I just need the right lighting and I'm sure I'm gonna win this content. Okay, excellent. It's all about picking the right moment, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So we're gonna sit here for another 10 hours, wait for the sunrise, <laughs> and hopefully we can do it. Hopefully. Is that normal? What happened here? I don't know, but your boot is in my shop. Halloween! <laughs> You know what? I'm going with extra yellow background to get the tones in. All this golden sun, look at this. Nice. I'm a photosynthesizing here from the word <laughs> photograph. It's a bit muddy. I'm trying to find ones that don't have mud on them. Oh, the only thing I need to do is Photoshop the people out of it, and <laughs> yeah. that's it. Easy. Yeah. I've gone for dramatic. Yeah. for this one because my little lo-fi profile was a little bit too muted for the oranges. All right, on a level from one to ten, how dramatic it was. Gonna... It is quite dramatic. Uh, it go. almost feels like a battlefield. It does feel a bit like a battlefield. So many pumpkins sacrifice their lives. <laughs> All right, tell me about your okay. picture control situation. So I quite like the fact that uh, I can actually edit my picture controls from the back screen. Mm -hmm. Just by pressing down, I can then customize you know, sharpness, hue, saturation, etc. So, and then I've got a preview of what I'm doing as well. I'm also going next level. I'm also adjusting the white balance. I'm okay. going extra yellow on this one because we need to get those beautiful colors of the autumn and sun and leaves lying around and of course the orange pumpkins yeah the only problem is because we're outside it's so difficult to judge actually the change of the white balance that it can go completely wrong so we'll find out at the end of it i was gonna say what white balance setting are you using are you using a manual or a custom i go full on kelvin wow and i went six thousand seven hundred kelvin good gracious okay all right have you got your picture of your house yet uh on what you see because we're gonna judge on the one shot I really need to get it right. Yeah, so you need to take a hundred shots and then pick your favorite. Exactly. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm carrying this pumpkin with me everywhere. <laughs> this is the chosen is the, one. Is that the one? This is the chosen one. I wanted the a smaller one. one, but Damon chose this one. Look at the size of this pumpkin. Yeah, it's got a built-in grip. 
<laughs> just like that nine. It's massive. I always That's want to put my foot on it, but I'll hold it just above it because we've been very tidy here. Oh my goodness. That's right. Do you know of any pumpkin recipes? <laughs> I know lots of pumpkin recipes. Uh, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, uh, pumpkin cake is a bit like carrot cake. Mm. Pumpkin's always juice? pumpkin juice. Pumpkin is always good with cinnamon as well. Oh yeah. By knowing true. Russia, what we do, we put it in a pan, add a bit of water, and then just put a bit of sugar and honey on top, and you just boil it like this. Oh yeah. And it's delicious. So far, I'm really enjoying this lens. It's not super sharp, wide open, mm -hmm. but actually I've been shooting at about f3.5 the whole day and it's perfect. That's true. Look at the size of it just compared to my 518. It's tiny. <laughs> yeah, Incredible. It's true. It doesn't really, it feels like you're just carrying the camera around with you. So, uh, so yeah, yeah I'm, very, I'm very pleased with that. You see the face recognition on Z6 is not as good. Very good. Look at that. One, two, three. Nice. Not as good as Z9. Not as good as Z9. <laughs> back so tell me what is considered to be a good pumpkin when you're choosing one god i don't know uh i think color shape size it depends what about carving them do Car you like do you touch them do you make sure that they're nice and hard so you can you know or I want it to be reasonably firm yeah okay and if you're gonna be one of those people that does like really intricate designs on your pumpkin then you want to make sure that it's very rigid and has quite a thick skin so Yeah, so you've got to get out the, um, the carving knife, carve a big hole around the top. Some people do it around the back. And then you've got to scoop out the, the inside. All the good stuff. And then you do the... Okay. All right. Pumpkin Carving 101 by Becky. <laughs> okay. So, so far, Becky. So have... far, I think most of my shots are probably going to look quite similar. Yeah, do but you think really they're going to be full of pumpkins? Full of pumpkins. Okay. Lots of very warm tones, okay. bright colours. The few shots that I just try to shoot on the kind of low, low key, muted tones, etc. I didn't, I didn't like so much. Mm -hmm. I prefer those poppy colours. So let's see what happens when I look at my pictures at home. You know, if I wouldn't know, it's England. I would say it's probably somewhere on the west of the United States of America. <laughs>